The U.S. Central Command, responsible for security interests in 20 nations, covering the central area of the globe, released drone footage of their airstrikes against ISIL. The strikes were conducted as part of Operation Inherent Resolve. Follow me on Twitter for more of this up-to-date information. Cavalry soldiers were joined by sailors, marines, and airmen for the second annual spur ride at Guantanamo Bay. The tradition of having to earn your spurs dates back to the beginning of the cavalry, when green troopers weren't awarded their spurs until they'd proven themselves with their horse and saber. Having it open to other branches and other MOSs kind of emphasizes what we do at Guantanamo Bay. It's, it's a joint mission. 126 candidates started, but only 107 spur holders walked away. Now, Sergeant Rachel Badgley takes us to the headquarters of the Maryland National Guard to hear from their new groundbreaking commander. Sergeant Badgley? Thanks. I'm here with Major General Linda Singh. She recently took command of the Maryland National Guard, becoming the first female and the first African American to hold the position. What do you see as the impact your achievement has had on not only female soldiers, but all women? When I think about what it means overall, this is, this is huge just for the progress of women in leadership and it really helps to, to set or bring light to positive role models in the military which I think we need. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. You can see the army story told in some amazing photos shared on the Dimfos Flickr page. Check it out. Be on the lookout for a special photo project coming soon. I'll see you next week on iSoldier.